I'm not sure where the echo is coming from, but I'll find it. All right, hold on. I'll get rid of the echo real quick. Okay, I found it. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Oh, shit. Nice ass, thanks. <laughs> Stupid face. I closed that window and I was checking the thing and I said, oh, that's not supposed to be there. <laughs>
Okay. So let's go ahead and start posing these little dudes. Put Batman up there. So let's just have them. Look, they're going to be holding the TV for now. And I'll figure out everything else in just a second. Okay. So we'll put it like this. I don't want them holding hands. I don't mind this, but it looks like they're ETing with their freaking fingers. There we go. Works out. Anyway, uh, for those of you who haven't gotten a chance, uh, really check out this cutout pack. For real. Uh, Ty Starr, the guy who made this cutout pack, he did everything. He laser cut all this stuff. He designed everything. Yo, let me tell you, this cutout pack is unbelievable. Yo, how cool is this? <laughs> like, just a little, <laughs> a little cutout right here. That's so freaking cool. For those of you who don't use cutouts, uh, the way that a lot of people apply these cutouts is by using this little wed wax, wet, wet wax, uh, red wax right here. Now I know this looks like, you know, a booger or whatever, but <laughs> it's not a booger. It's cheese wax. Like if you guys ever, you know, for those of you out there who casually buy, you know, wheels of cheese, uh, not really. There are little like Baybell cheese packs that they sell in grocery stores. Every single one of those pieces of cheese are wrapped in this wax and it's just, uh, Yo, free wax, let me tell you. Well, not really free because, uh, uh, you know, you gotta pay for the cheese. So, let's go ahead and stick... Th this TV is about to mess up because I just... Uh, I just got this TV right and I'm about to... And I just took it down for a cutout. Alright, so it's starting to come together real quick. God damn it. Shit! Oh my god. This is a nightmare. Oh my god. It's coming together. Hell yeah. I don't know if I want to do one light, two lights, three lights, four lights, one fish, two fish. Who fucking cares? I don't know. <sighs> Let's see. No! The TV! Fuck you. God. Alright, so basically I want to have it looking like this almost. Let's get it in focus. I want it like this. This is how I want it. Um, but now that I'm looking at it, it looks really stupid. Yo! Oh my god, look at this. Holy dog shit. That looks cool. I kind of think I want it to look like this. Yeah, let's just, let's just crank the ISO really low for this shot. Right there. So let's get a quick fill light in. Right here, maybe? Does this look good? Just so that the cutout is lit really well. This looks good, except for the fact that um, you can see the light. You can see the LEDs in the, uh, what do you call it? In the reflection of the television. Okay, how about right here? Oh, that works out better. Yeah. I just, um, I just moved. It was right here. Uh, but I just moved it to right here. So that looks like it's working out pretty well. I'm actually pretty excited for this shot now. <laughs> Not to say I wasn't excited to begin with, but uh, uh, now it's really now it's starting to come together. Is your butt man out of water? Because it's too big, yo! <laughs> oh, yeah. Everybody's looking at me like I'm a freaking idiot. Um, I'm Filipino, and uh, the word for water in Tagalog is too big. That's really funny. All right, so it's framed like this right now, and it looks pretty good framed like this. And let's mess with some of this lighting real quick. So... I could have it lit like this. This looks pretty good. Maybe? Kind of? We could have it lit like this, straight from the top. You could have it from the back like this. Not really sure at the moment. Uh, but we'll figure it out. Now let's go ahead and mess with some settings. So right now I want to go ahead and move this. I just I it's I don't feel like you're getting that it's a van. It just looks like 
Batman sitting on a purple thing. And I want it to be... Oh, no! The TV! Fuck you. I just want it to be apparent that it's a van. I think we'll just have to... Wing it like this. I don't really think there's much of a choice happening right now anymore. Which sucks. How about this? That's working out pretty good. Alright, so... Let's see. This is actually fine right here. I really dig this. The fact that the Joker logo isn't in it doesn't bug me anymore. Uh, now, now that this right here is here and it's apparent that this is a vehicle, I'm totally cool with it now. That's lit pretty well. I just need to put some accents on Batman. Uh, I do want it to be pretty apparent that he's holding a Batarang though. So I'm going to have to fix that. Because as you can see right here, it's not really apparent. Maybe I can have his fists like this. Maybe. All right. Now, one thing I do want to change right here is this dude right here. He's just I I I need him to be looking at Batman and I don't want to move the stupid TV, but I have to. God. I actually have the cutout pivoted like bent downwards because the camera angle is coming up is you know is the camera the camera is down and it's looking up towards it so if i have it this way then the cutout still looks straight and head on with the shot and that's what you got to remember sometimes because if you're cut out if you're using cutouts and they don't look straight or they look like kind of like crooked and like kind of weird that can really like uh, take you out of the illusion of the shot so just one cool thing to go ahead and remember about using cutouts. It looks really good, it's just not straight. Still really crooked. Okay. Right there. Oh, wow, that looks great. All right, here we go. Oh my god, that one turned out really good. And from there, I did some variant shots. I kind of moved Batman around a little bit, and then towards the end, I uh, moved the camera around a little bit as well. But this was basically the entire gist of the entire shoot, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed it myself. And uh, the rest of the stream was me just basically talking to everybody in chat and kind of just dwindled down from there. And uh, that's about it for this episode. Now, I know this isn't definitely episode four of Posing Ain't Easy. It's not technically episode four. Um, but it's just the condensed edited version of the three hour stream I did of Posing Ain't Easy Live. And if you guys dig this kind of stuff, definitely let me know because I'd love to do more live streams of me posing and stuff and sharing fundamentals of ACBA and figure photography. I thought it was really fun. And if you guys want more episodes in this series, definitely let me know in the comment section below and I'll, you know, I'll bang them out. <laughs> it was super fun to make. But if this is the first time catching an episode of Posing Ain't Easy, there are definitely some real episodes linked right here go ahead and give them a watch they're a lot of fun and as usual if you want to follow me on any kind of social media it's paunch easy for everything it goes for twitter instagram facebook linkedin friendster i don't know whatever <laughs> i don't know what's going on anymore anyway as usual guys i hope you guys have a good one thank you for watching my video and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace